Mr X scale model fix and another brand new kit review. This time we're going to be looking at MiG 17F Fresco scene 148 scale from Ammo of MiG. So without further ado let's conduct the box tops tour. Now this is quite a heavy cardboard box, it's lovely and glossy so uh, hopefully oozes quality. So we've just got uh, some lovely box art there and on the sides we've got some of the usual blurb and spiel. And a shot of the markings that are included within this boxing. So there's a number of boxing of this kit. So this is the Syrian and Egyptian Air Force example. Lifting the lid. It's quite a stout cardboard box. Really heavy stock paper. So that's quite nice. We've got a couple of screws back together. Not a lot in this kit to be honest. Some Advertising material, probably as I expected. You can go in the bin, I think. That's nice. A little poster of the box art and the market options included in the kit. A hefty catalogue. Again, pushing ammo products. Can't blame them for trying. But that is quite heavy, so if you're uh, shipping that, that's going to add to the cost of your purchase. Got an etch brass fret, small decal sheet, and the instruction book. So the instruction book follows on from the box, and it's quite heavy paper, quite a heavy grade paper. It's glossy, and it's well presented. And just inside you've got the various boxings of this kit. So I'm assuming that these are going to be generic instructions. Some quite nice examples there. Next, important, read before beginning your model. Again, just fully utilising and, and pushing the uh, MIG range of products there. And we've got a part map on page 5. And the colours. There's no cross reference to any other brand, it's all ammo of MIG and they're all generic, just airframe aluminium, dark aluminium, etc. Construction begins on page 6 and we have a multi part ejector seat that looks to be quite nice straight out the box. And in the premium example, I believe you do get a resin or 3D printed seat. So this is just the standard boxing, so think of it as similar to a NADAD weekend edition. Moving along cockpit tub and intake, and again it's indicating there for the premium edition that you do have red fox decals. So everything coming together as expected, uh, limited sidewall detail, it is an early jet after all. Again red fox being highlighted there, not included in this kit, so it'll be interesting to see what the instrumentation and decals and dials are like in that to that area when we get to the plastic. Exhaust, straightforward, trunking, flame holder, etc. Rudder track between the two fuselage halves and your previous assemblies all coming together there. Step 5, bottom of page 7. Turning over, we've got uh, recommended 15 grams of nose weight, intake ring and belly plate, two different nose sections saying one is for the limb 5 opening up some holes for your rocket assemblies drop tanks etc wings coming together very straightforward upper and lower with separate aerolons wings joining to the fuselage cockpit windscreen coming in and your tail end so you've got your elevators etc a few more drop-in panels gun barrels pitot tubes maybe add those a bit later on in the build I would save them getting broken. Undercarriage saying that there are resin wheels in a detailing set so these are included again like I said in this kit. Nose gear bay um, wheel, nose bay doors, main gear oh, very straightforward it is an early jet don't forget and then we've got some flap inserts by the looks of it. Speed brakes Open or closed canopy and a host of photo etch for the wing fences. 
and it does say that we've got a ginger cap, never heard of them, canopy masks included only in the premium edition again. That appears to be the assembly completed in 14 stages. Very, very quick, very, very simple model. And then we've got some detailing sets being plugged and the back page, decalling, painting tips, weathering recommendations, again, pushing that whole ammo of mid range. So it looks quite straightforward, quite a simple aircraft. Very similar in fact to the Tamiya MiG-15. Very small and simple decal sheet in this boxing, printed by Cartograph. Nothing needs to be said further than that, I'll not get these out of the plastic envelope. And that's the host of those wing fences for the model and a small set of seat belts as well. I'm always a sucker for a nice poster of the box art and I'm going to include that in this kit and it also doubles up as the painting and deckling guide. So there's three marking options offered in the kit and there's a MiG-17F of 62 Squadron 306 Fighter Brigade Egyptian Air Force Egypt 1975 and on the opposite page there's the Syrian Air Force Syria 1960 both in different camouflage colours, so that'd be quite interesting. And on the back page, similar to the first one, and that's again 1975. So it does lose a bit of quality, everything's printed quite nicely. It's all glossy heavyweight paper, no uh, cheap photocopies as some of the manufacturers provide. Onto the plastic parts, and they're in their own. Packaging, packaged together, clear parts trapped in between, so we'll take a look at those in a second. So, this is sprue A. Everything looks really quite nice, there's no obvious mould errors. Quite a simple, straightforward kit. Panel line detail is restrained. I don't know if the camera can pick that up with the colour of the plastic and the lighting but it's very restrained, there's no rivet detail as such it's quite a hard plastic some of the internal detail for the flaps looks really quite nice and we've got the drop tanks and everything there as well Sprue B and it's got your wings, cockpit, wheels and instrument panels. Just taking a look at those. They don't look too bad. Some careful painting to make these, those come up to scratch. And I'm sure the likes of Edard or even the own ammo detailing set if you want to uh, fork out the extra bit of money. Not a great fan of moulded in pitos, that's just going to come off during the build. So, all in all, a very well presented, if simple, kit. I do like the idea that they've encompassed on those upper wings with a fitting tab for that etch, which theoretically means you could add it before you join the wings together, blob of super glue on the under, under, under surface, or keep it really nice on top, no uh, super glue seeping out from around your point. However, if you're doing a camouflage one and you're using masking, it might be easier just to leave those off and stick them on at the end. Clear parts thankfully are contained in their own plastic bag. Very, very straightforward and quite thick. So it'll be interesting to see what they look like once they're painted up. Hopefully they fit well. I'll put those back in there just to save them getting scratched. So there we have ammo of MIG's brand new MIG 17 F Fresco C in 48 scale. Your kit number for this one is AMIG 8511. Quite a simple presented kit, but absolutely perfectly presented. A little bit basic and detailed, but then if you pay the extra, I'm sure the premium edition will deliver a detail fix if you want to pay the extra bit of cash. Overall, quite highly recommended. Can't wait to get this on the bench and especially do it in that box top scheme. I think that camouflage is absolutely fantastic. 
So a big shout out and thanks to Antics Online for speedy delivery of this kit and a big thumbs up to Andrew Hills. So hopefully you can get this on the bench like I said in due course. So stay tuned. Until next time everyone please look after yourselves, stay well and take care.